everyone, and welcome back to Nero Moments. Today I'm doing an unboxing of items that I got from Wet n Wild that I ordered from their website. And I will be reviewing the Coffee Cat palette. I also got a new sponge, a concealer, an eyeshadow quad, which I will not be reviewing today, but I will be using in, a, in my next video. I got a freebie because I spent $30, a liquid, um, a liquid eyeshadow in this really, really pur purple color. That I'm going to be using in my next video too when I do this spooky skeleton makeup. I'm going to review this package and um, do a really spooky look. That's my next video. But today, like I said, I will be reviewing the Coffee Cat palette. Now, the eyeshadow quad has four colors, two mattes and two shimmers. That will be going with this and this. First, let me say these are my opinions on these products. You don't have to agree with them, um, but this is just the way I feel about the products. Um, I did order this weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, I kept checking the website to see if my order had been shipped and it kept telling me it was pending. Now, the, everything was paid for and it just sat there for almost two weeks pending. So eventually, I, I ended up emailing the company twice, um, asking questions, well, why is this still pending? And uh, the first time I didn't get a response, uh, the second time I got a generic response. So I went to Facebook and I messaged the, uh, I, I sent a message to the page on Facebook. <sighs> so I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened with my order. I know we're in the middle of a pandemic. But I thought two and a half weeks was a little ridiculous for it to be sitting there pending. So I got a little pushy. Um, and eventually, a couple days later, my package was mailed. And it still took me another, about another week to get it. So, um, that's why I'm a little late with the Coffee Cat review. But better late than never, right? <laughs> it's National Coffee Day. What a perfect time to do a coffee palette. I'm a big fan of the drugstore makeups. Uh, Wet n Wild is probably one of my favorites. Everything I buy, I buy on a budget. And Wet n Wild just fits right into that. And I, I thought, you know what? I really believe that um, their, products, their, their products are good. I like them. Okay, let's get into this review. Okay, first off, let's talk about this sponge. The website says it's called it's called a microfiber makeup sponge. It was $4.99. It says it enhanced, it said this is what the website says. It says enhance your beauty routine with our new Microsoft sponge, featuring a unique double layer technology which allows for less product absorption and better coverage. It's antimicrobial, non-latex, and vegan. Okay. Which is all good. And I did open this when I got it because I was in need of a new sponge. I have already put my foundation on, so. Oh. Because I wanted to show you what it looks like after you put your foundation on. And then I also washed it four or five times. Um. The first thing I noticed is that it feels like like cloth. It feels like cloth. Um, 
I love the way it's shaped. It puffed up nice. But here lies my problem. It does put on the foundation nicely. My first thoughts were that it was absorbing the product because after washing it, now I really, I don't mind it looking like this, <laughs> but you might. Um, stains it very, very badly, the foundation, even after four or five washes. So if that's something you don't mind, then, um, then it's a good sponge. I like the way it's, I like the way it's angled. Like I said, it does puff up nice. It does apply the foundation nicely, though. Uh, being in, being a seasoned woman, older, I'm not a big fan of full coverage, um, and I did have to work with it uh, quite a lot to make it um, to make the foundation look the way I want it. That's that. In my box of goodies, I also got a concealer. They claim that this will cover up everything and anything. <laughs> From under eye bags to party, last night's party faux pas. Um, now if you're a party animal, you might want to try this. Um, I'm going to use it to see if it gets rid of the bags because I just can't sleep at night. So, let's see if this does what they say it does. The wand is angled. I like that. Let's see if it gets rid of my bags. Lord knows I need it. dry really quick. You're going to have to work really fast with this. Maybe I should have just done one eye at a time. Uh -oh. See how it's drying really quickly? It's, it's kind of hard to, um, to blend in. I think uh, if I'm going to use this again, um, I'll just do one at a time. But it does have some nice coverage. Shimmers. Let's see if it smells 
love light pop. Okay, I'm not really getting coffee. Like it's almost as if you mix coffee and clay. <laughs> mm. Or coffee with a whole lot of sugar in it. They are absolutely beautiful fall. These are, I'm going to call these fall colors because this is something that I would wear in the fall. Um, they're all browns. They're, they're, they're very pretty. This is the first two rows. Uh, it, the neutrals are a little hard to see. And I had a little bit of a hard time swatching them. The shimmers and the dark are absolutely gorgeous. This is the second two rows. Now this bottom one is so brown, it's almost a black, and that is so nice to have in a palette. These are really pretty. Okay, let's see how they perform on the eyes. I'm gonna go in with this color, which is called Make It A Double. This color, which is called Make It A Double. That's what I'm gonna start out with. does have a little bit of fallout, but that's to be expected. Um, I don't mind. I don't mind fallout. to need a couple layers. with this pop 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 cappuccino pop pop cappuccino <laughs> oh no i love my coffee I'm going to use this shimmer on the outside of my lid.
No coffee, no worky. <laughs> I love these names. And I'm gonna go on the inside. I would use my finger for um, some of these shimmers, but I'm not finding that I have to. I'm going to use the first one here. It's called Cream and Sugar. What do you take in your coffee? I drink mine with just cream. I'm sweet enough. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try using this darkest color under my eyes. If I don't like it, I'll change it. Let's see. Let's see. Then I'm going to attach it here too. Also going to take a little bit of this one and go under my eye. It's called Have to Cough Feels.